Simon Fry tells me it was early Sunday morning on Easter when he had his race car and his truck stolen from right underneath his nose here in the Natomas area of Sacramento. And that race car, a lot of time, money and investment that he has lost, but he tells me it's really the truck that is irreplaceable. It would it would mean the world to us. I mean, it'd be, a, it'd be amazing to get it back in the family. This two-tone track car with 75 stuck to its frame took years of money and effort to drive onto the track for race day. Man, a, a lot, maybe like 30 or 40,000 in between the car and parts and everything else. So, and a lot of just like blood, sweat and tears. But just hours after the final flag Saturday, Simon Fry's stock car was stolen. Left it for one night, unfortunately, in front of my house in Natomas. Woke up on Easter Sunday morning and both were gone. That's how we started. Easter morning. Fry tells Fox 40 it was his father who showed he and his brothers the ways of tight steering and gear shifting. My dad was a, a motorhead. But Fry says it's actually the truck towing his track speedster that he can't stand losing. The truck's been around in the family for a long time. After trekking cross country in the truck, Fry says his grandfather passed the pickup down to his dad in 2010. His father drove the truck for 10 years before he unexpectedly took his last breaths behind the steering wheel in 2020. It was like sitting in the truck, kind of just using his phone when he had like a cardiac event. And so when my mom came home like an hour later, she found him there. It drives like a truck, but exists as a token to remember the man who showed him the courage to get in the driver's seat. And obviously seeing from the story there, this truck holds a lot of sentimental value to Fry and his family. And it's why his family is offering a cash reward if the truck is found in good condition. You can find out more information on Fry as well as the Sacramento police detective who was in charge of this case by visiting our website at fox40.com. Reporting in Natomas, covering local news that matters, I'm Mason Morrow, Fox 40 News.